Hey guys, I'm not showing my face because I'm not feeling too good. So I'm just going to put a lovely picture up. There we go. So I thought since more and more features become available on the Quest via side loading, I wanted to do a little video on how to do it and show you that you don't need to panic when doing this. It's not like jailbreaking an iPhone. It's just using the beauty of the Android operating system. This will allow you to do things like put custom Beat Saber songs onto your headset, which alone is a good enough reason to do this. You can also put Pavlov Alpha builds on, but I'm going to show you how to set it up and install your social medias such as Instagram, WhatsApp, Messenger, Twitter and Discord onto the Quest, so you can remain in VR and you don't have to take off your headset to check your phone. You can then take what I show you and apply it to any Android VR application or mobile application. So the best way, well the easiest way I've seen to sideload is to use the SideQuest application. This is an app that you install onto your machine and it takes you through step by step with a user interface so you don't have to make any big mistakes, it's super easy. If you already have SideQuest and it's set up, I'll put a link in the description for you to skip along to the command line stuff using ADB. Me showing you this means that you're not going to be limited to what SideQuest has to offer, so it's a great combination to have. The first thing you want to do is install the SideQuest application. I'll put a link in the description or you can Google SideQuest Expanse GitHub. This will take you to a GitHub page where you can see the source code. Issues here if you have any problems and want them fixed and releases. Visit the releases page, scroll down to the asset section. Select whatever system you are running and download the files. So Windows, select Windows, Linux, select Linux. There are instructions on this page as well for troubleshooting if you run into any problems. They're easy to follow, just check out the steps. Once this zip file is downloaded, unpackage the files. Windows you can use 7-zip or WinRAR, but for me on Mac I have a default utility so I'm going to use that. Open the unzip file and select the application SideQuest. This will launch the app. If you get an error message on Mac, simply go to settings, security and approve the use of the application. It's just because it's third party that the computer panics. The UI should now be loaded. Here you can add custom Beat Saber songs in the Beat Saber tab, install some apps that come with it, some VR titles you can install. There's also the PC VR apps here, there's Android apps, some of which you want to install but not all of them are listed here. It's not a great selection so that's why I'm going to show you how to add additional APKs in this video. But first, go to the setup button in the bottom left corner. Follow these instructions, they even provide links so you don't have to mess around. First create a developer organization, click the provided link, select create org. You may be asked to sign in at this point, if so just sign in and create an organization, anything you like. I called it Stevie Knows. Agree to the terms and conditions, of course, and that's that. Now you need to download the drivers which only Windows machines need. Linux and Mac users have them already. So if you're on Windows, click the provided link, tick the box that says you accept the T's and C's, and download. In the download file, there may be a setup to run or an executable to install the drivers and do that before continuing. Now you want to go to your mobile device, open the Oculus application, go to settings, select the headset you want to apply changes to, visit more settings and activate the developer mode. This is used for developer studios to load their binaries onto the headset and test the game in virtual reality. We are not hacking the system in any way. This exists for a reason and it's available for all to use. Now you want to connect your headset to the computer and confirm the host. I would select always when you're confirming, otherwise you'll have to do this every time you are uploading packages. Then finally, they ask you to install their app launcher onto the headset. This is what we need. This is useful as it acts as a hub for all of your mobile APK installs. I also like the organization of it so things don't get messy. Once this is installed onto your headset, you can find the menu under the Unknown Sources tab on the homepage in your library, but you'll see that shortly. Now we want to install a module named ADB. We get this from the Android developer page. The module will install APKs onto the specified device. This is available for Linux, Windows and Mac also. So go to this page, download the file, accept the terms and conditions, downloading the SDK, extract, and then look into the extracted folder and you can see ADB executable. That's what we want to use. Extract the download and then if you look into the extracted folder here, you can see ADB. That's what we want to use. Next, we need an APK to put onto our device. I've gone for all of the social medias, the Twitter, the Instagram, Discord, Messenger, WhatsApp, 
I even have some games installed. You can literally Google for the APK that you want, just type in like Twitter, Android app and you can find it. Once downloaded, you want to open the terminal, go to where you have downloaded the ADB, where you've extracted that file. In my case, it's in the downloads folder. Make sure the device is connected. If you haven't, just in case, make sure it's connected. Then run this command for each APK that you want to install into your headset. First, the path to the ADB module that you want to use, which in my case is dot download slash platform tool slash ADP. Then install, then hyphen R, then you want to put in the path to where the APK you're trying to install lives. Hit enter, it'll do its business and that's it. Repeat this for any application you want to stick onto the headset, whether it be a mobile app or a VR application. If you wanted to stick a game onto the headset that is a virtual reality APK, you can also do this via this process, but the game won't appear under the Expanse application. It will be on its own under the unknown source menu, just like Minecraft is here. So now let's go check out the apps that we've installed to make sure they're up and running. Unfortunately, my screen recording doesn't work whilst inside this application, so I'm just using my phone through the lenses so you can see that it's up and running. Here is Twitter, Instagram, WhatsApp, Discord, And I didn't do Messenger because it contains private family conversations, but that works also. See, this is super easy and I hope you found it useful. Please subscribe if you've enjoyed the video and stick around for some more content. Happy gaming, guys. Good day.